Hi everyone, I'm Alicia from KL Gadget TV and our labs have just gotten our hands on the MSI GS40 and what else is there to do first but to do an unboxing video. So brace yourself and here it goes. Now the packaging of the GS40 is simple, minimalist and sports a shiny emboss of the MSI G series logo. Let's pop the box open. Here is the machine wrapped snugly in a non-woven recycled sheath with the same G series logo imprinted on it. This cover is recyclable so you won't have any qualms disposing of it in the recycling bin. Now to uncover this baby. Just so you know, the GS40 is a 14-inch MSI notebook that is fitted with quite a number of performance parts. And here you go. Check out this sleek looking machine. It is rather slim and it's pretty light too. Now let's put this aside and see what else is bundled in the box. So let's flip up this large big piece of cardboard and here is the power brake to power up this machine. Feels quite large for such a small machine, it must need a lot of power. Now this package at the side must be the rest of the power cable. I like the little tap thingy that makes pulling out the package much easier. Let's see, yep, it's the power cable to connect to the brake. Okay, now put that aside and here is the usual documentation package. We have an installation CD, warranty service booklet, a start guide in case you need to know how to use the notebook in a few different languages and oh msi number one in gaming now this is the hotkey recovery function booklet now there's a lot of paper here but it's in different languages so yeah this is the warranty card so let's put this all aside and get to the main star now the gs40 has a nice smooth finishing with the design and logos placed just like its other gaming g series a nice chrome red accent at the edge of the lid is a nice touch to offer a more stylish upper T class look. On the back, there are some large vents with red accents on the gills with a mini display port on the back between the vents, which is great to easily hook it up to a monitor. Now on one side, we have a gigabit Ethernet port, power port, a USB 3.0 port, an SD card reader, and a microphone and headphone jack. Now on the other side, here you can see another vent, a HDMI out port, another USB 3.0 port and a USB 3.1 Type-C port. I find it mildly amusing that the utility drivers were given in an optical drive format when there is no optical disk drive on this machine. Now on the front part of the GS40, there are speakers on both sides hidden from view. Well, hopefully the sound isn't as hidden. Now on the other side are more cooling vents with a few accented in red. There are actually lots of stickers on the corner as well, so it looks like MSI offers 2 years warranty for the GS40. It has this HDMI certified sticker and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX sticker since the GS40 is fitted with a GTX 970M GPU. There are some little rubbery triangles on the base of the notebook which allows the machine to be settled on the surface without all the grinding and scratching on the body. Well, they are placed pretty much all around the bottom of the machine, so if you're trying to sneak a game or two in the middle of the night, you won't wake the lightest sleeper. Probably. Now, the MSI GS40 only weighs 1.6 kg, which is light enough to hold it in one hand. Let's open this baby up. Now, the GS40 has a 14-inch Full HD display with IPS level panel. Now, the bezel of the screen feels like your typical matte plastic finishing. Here, we have the Chrome MSI logo and good thing MSI included a nice big microfiber cloth to keep all fingerprints off the screen and off the many Chrome accents. Now, let's look at the keyboard. The label says Sound by Dyn Audio, so we can expect some pretty decent sound produced by this machine. Now, the keyboard is not a full one as the entire numpad section is missing. It is chiclet styled with adequate gaps between, although it feels a little shallow at first touch. It doesn't have any macro keys and looks like Steel Series is still in partnership with MSI when it comes to its notebook keyboards. Now, the sticker here says it has an Intel Core i7 inside, which is probably the latest 6th gen CPU from Intel. Now, the trackpad is matte finishing with the same chrome red accents around it. Feels pretty smooth here with no icky fingerprints left behind. Unless you have oily fingers, of course. Wi-Fi, battery and CPU indicators are at the bottom and a webcam sits unobtrusively at the top center area above the screen. There are also rubber tips on the edges of the screen bezel to protect the lid when closing the notebook. Now, from the side, you can see how thin the notebook is. Well, let's just use my finger for a quick measure. Mm, it reaches just about up to the first joint or so. Now, the hinges feel solid enough without the screen just falling over, but the lid does bounce quite a bit before settling down. 
Now let's boot this baby up. Now how long does it take before it boots? Let's see. Okay, great. We've reached the window screen and it's low on battery. Anyway, this is just an unboxing and first look so look out for our video review soon where we will test the MSI GS40 in more detail. Till the next video, this is Alicia signing off. Ta-da!